Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jared. Finally dipping into the world of agar. It actually wasn't too hard to make these plates, so I just want to show you guys how I did it real quick. Let's dive right in. I'm going to be using beer bottles to sterilize and pour in my agar. I bought a small packet of pre-mixed agar, and this is PDA, which is potato dextrose agar. I got 20 petri dishes, a box of parafilm. I'll be using my kitchen skill for this. Scissors, a funnel, a pot, some aluminum foil, my still air box, and of course a pressure cooker. So the convenient thing about water is one milliliter of water weighs one gram. So 750 milliliters is 750 grams. Now take a quick look here at the directions uh, I obviously didn't read the directions well enough because I started boiling my water first and I bet you can guess what's going to happen here. Pour the agar powder into my almost boiling water. Started giving it a mix and realized that pouring it into hot water just turned it all into giant clumps. So I spent the next like 30 minutes trying to get all these clumps out and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So I suspect that if I had mixed it when it was cool, it would have mixed a lot easier. After I got all the clumps out, I was ready to pour it into the bottles. I'm using 12 ounce bottles and I had three bottles just in case. I'm pretty sure I boiled off like half of the water trying to get the clumps out. So. I only ended up filling two bottles. I put some aluminum foil over the top to prevent steam and water from entering the bottles while pressure cooking. and then loaded them into the pressure cooker. Now I'm sure you can already figure this out, but they don't fit standing up. Uh, and I'm actually kind of glad they did because now looking back at it, having them stand up like that right next to the vent and the gauge, I could have potentially blocked the gauge or the vent, which could be dangerous. So I set them sideways and used a few items out of the kitchen to stop them from rolling around and falling over. And then I cranked up the heat and let it pressure cook for 15 minutes at 15 PSI. I let the pressure cooker cool down until the outside was still pretty warm to the touch. It definitely wasn't hot and it wasn't boiling anymore, but I didn't want the agar to solidify, so I got it out while it was still pretty warm. I definitely recommend using gloves or a rag to pick up your bottles at this point because it was still pretty uncomfortable to grab them with my bare hands. I loaded everything into my still air box and got to work spraying everything down with alcohol. These petri dishes come pre-sterilized in a sealed bag so I didn't bother sterilizing the petri dishes themselves, just sprayed the outside of the bag. Now I'm going to be pouring these in a stack, starting at the very bottom and then working my way to the top of the stack. I'm only pouring enough in just to cover the bottom and if I have to later I'll go back and fill up some more if I have extras. But it turns out I had just about the perfect amount and I used almost all of it. I had a little bit left over at the end and I soon figured out why. You'll notice that I missed one of the dishes there, so I ended up with 19. Parafilm is pretty cool. This is my first time using parafilm. I really appreciate that they printed squares on the packaging because it makes it easy to cut the perfect amount. I'm using two squares long by one square wide.
and you pretty much just have to stretch the parafilm around the edge of the petri dish and it seals it really well. After I sealed them with parafilm, I set each of them upside down, and that's to help with condensation. If they're sitting right side up, the condensation forms and then drips down onto the agar. You can see here how much condensation can form at first. The last thing I did was mark each of the petri dishes with the date and the medium used. I'll be posting more videos later of me growing cultures out on these agar plates. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will be publishing new videos on a pretty regular basis. Thanks for watching. See you later.